So tonight we're going to be talking about practical lights and how you can help those practical lights by extending that light with additional lights. Now what we've got in this scene, we've got two lights. We've got the practical, which is the lamp, and the LED behind the monitor there. Now this lamp is not powerful enough to light this scene, so everything that you've seen right now is as a result of having additional lights that help extend that light. So what we've got is we've got two Godox R1s which are sitting by the sofa and they are bouncing into some whiteboard. And what that's doing is, is that diffuse light is helping augment or extend the light that's coming from the practical because they're color matched to that light. So everything you see now is as a result. And the reason why we want to use a diffuse light because we're bouncing it off into the whiteboard is that we're trying to replicate the actual light that is coming from the practical. So before you even use extended lights, I would highly advise you look at the way the current light is actually casting light on the objects around them because what you don't want to do is provide an additional light source to help augment that light and it completely ruin the look because that light has the potential to cast unnatural shadows where that particular light wouldn't cast them so for instance this light right now it's harsh light here as we can see with my shadow but from here around it's diffused because of the shade and it's the same above we have shadows which are naturally being cast by the corner now if we add any additional lights there's a chance that we can ruin that and for it to look unnatural and that's not what we are trying to do we're trying to just extend that light now if i took this light and i was to position it say here we can already see that it's doing different things with the light as we can see we can cast shadows now if we were to put it above there's a chance that we might get away with that but then take a look at what it's doing to the wall so if we did something above the wall we could instantly tell that that light was being augmented by something above and that's what we're trying to avoid so by having the light shining indirectly and then bouncing we're getting a much more natural look and it's maintaining the current look of the existing practical light now if we were to turn this light off well the two that is what the light is being provided by the practical it's simply not enough and that's the old reason why we're trying to use the gold oxys to just actually extend that light so that we get more level on the subject which is what we're after and there we go and that's what we are trying to achieve so by bouncing that light off some whiteboard which is fairly inexpensive you're getting a much more natural result now the way that you could take this further is that you might say i don't like that shadow there it, it just bugs me which is being caused by the, the practical light so what you could do is you could either get some bacon paper and put that in the top so that it diffuses the light and cuts it off um, or you could use one of the god arcs and that's what we'll do now so what we've done now because that light is shining down below and the the god ox actually has a diffuser which is half a circle it helps with that sitting in the actual light and it also helps with the shape making the spread much more even and natural we can then use the additional godox that i've got to provide a bit more level now what i would normally do is i would probably purchase a bigger light which is not much bigger than that but something that would really help just to provide a bit more level if you're finding that the one is just not enough but as that is how you can improve that scene is now we're eliminating any shadows up here so aesthetically it looks more pleasing 
but then we've taken away one of the lights that we've got so we would have to augment that light with either a stronger light which is color matched to this or perhaps with another Golox R1 but I've only got two at the moment and that is it um, so if you like the content please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one cheers